All right, let's talk about Tua. Tua and the Dolphins. Hey, who said they can't beat a playoff caliber team? They beat the Dallas Cowboys, which is a huge win. Uh, there was still kind of this weird outside chance of them missing the playoffs, which never really felt like was really going to happen. But this kind of puts that to bed. They win here. They still uh, still have a chance at the one seed, uh, absolutely, after this game. If they win out, they get the one seed. And there even is a scenario where they could not win out and get the one seed, but winning out seems like the easiest way to do it. But they had to win this game for any of that to be possible. So how were they able to win this game? Well, first, what went wrong? Because this wasn't an offensive explosion the way we've seen. And a play like this is a good example of maybe what Dallas was able to do and what I think other teams could try and replicate it. I don't think other teams quite have the players to do it that Dallas did so you know situation like this uh it's gonna be a one-on-one matchup to Cedric Wilson on the outside the reason why they're going there and we've seen them do this a, a handful of times this season is I mean you know you see Tyreek Hill who's lined up on that side of the field as well multiple Dallas players covering him which is smart don't let Tyreek Hill beat you put two guys on him and if that's not working put a third on him right like he's the guy you have to cover first and foremost so okay Tua's going to say, well, let's throw it to the other guy in that area. Watch Tua take the snap. He is going to fire one in a in, you know area where he hopes it can be a completed pass. Also worth mentioning, this is a fourth down and goal. So the notable d- difference on this play compared to a third and goal is third and goal. You want to make sure you put it in a situation where it's not going to get intercepted. Fourth and goal, while an interception would be worse than an incompletion because you can get a touchback, get field position. It's not so much worse that what you really want to make sure you do is put the ball in a spot where it could be caught. That's what you have to do here if you're Tua. And Tua didn't do it. Uh, Tua put this one, I think, a bit too high, and they weren't able to make the play work. But it was also great defense. And maybe it could have worked uh, if it was a little bit lower, but I still don't know if it does. At the end of the day, Dallas, this was their strategy. Take away uh, you know, Jalen Waddle when he was out there. Take away uh, Tyreek Hill and hope that, you know, force someone else to beat you, and they have enough depth that they could have guys win in that scenario. That's part of what they were able to do to slow down this offense. Also, something like this, you know, Miami made a couple mistakes in this game. They did. This was not their cleanest game, and they're kind of one of the teams, one of those teams where it's like, they will give you a mistake or two a game. They will. Uh, usually, they more to make up for it, look like they did in this one. They will give you a mistake or two a game. This one, uh, Devin A. Chan going to be running a route that's going to try and get just past the first down marker. Watch as when Tua takes the snap, he looks out, and you know A. Chan has such speed that you there there is a, a window. And part of me wonders if th- this play is one of those. It's a running back running a wide receiver route, and maybe you know him and Tua just haven't practiced this as much as like him and Jalen Waddle have, obviously. Because watch how the timing's just a bit off. It's a bit too far, and A. Chan reaches out just quite can't quite make the play. So you know, couple mistakes. Didn't play perfectly clean, which kind of allowed Dallas to take the lead, uh, and, and you maybe uh, caused a couple of stops that shouldn't have happened. But once they got, you know, once they, when they had to make plays, they were able to make plays. They were able to get stuff like this going again. Maybe not as frequently as we're used to seeing with Miami, but they were still were able to get it going. You know, uh, two is going to run a play action, then try to hit a tight end who's going to be running over the middle. This is actually a really uh, funny way that this play is going to work. Watch as Tua, you know, bobbles a snap. It was a low snap, so he can't get it cleanly, but he still picks it up so quickly and is in the throwing motion so quickly that Dallas still hasn't had time to uh, get around where, you know, uh, he's trying to get the football to. Tua then hits Durham Smythe, the uh, tight end, and they're able to pick up a nice gain on that one. So good stuff by Smythe, good stuff by Tua, good stuff by the play calling to get that going. And again, it's just... They do things so quickly, right? Things are just so fast that it's just, you know, this is what they're able to do. Heading over to this play, I mean, listen, I said, oh, well, you know, uh, the Cowboys were able to kind of take away Tyreek Hill on some plays. You can't take away Tyreek Hill. You limit Tyreek Hill sometimes, right? Kind of. It's one of those weird situations where I remember the broadcast said at one point, like, yeah, it'd be nice if they could get Tyreek Hill going. Tyreek Hill had 99 yards in this game. Like, that's uh, that's just kind of the insane standards that he's been put to. But, like, this play is just absurd. So, it's going to be a man coverage, one-on-one matchup. They're putting Tyreek Hill in the slot, trying to see if they can get a favorable matchup. Not working out uh, as well as it works out against some teams. Stephon Gilmore still the guy here. Uh, covering uh, Hill, but hey, one-on-one matchup. 
However, Watch Hill, when this play begins, just uh, slips by Gilmore. Gilmore tries to create contact, and it just does not work at all. Again, one of the things that I think Hill never gets enough credit for is how good he is right at the line. He's so quick and moves so well, and his hands are so good, that if you try to create contact at the line, he just gets right by you. And honestly, sometimes it's worse, but obviously, you can't just bail because of how fast he is. As you see, I mean, Tyreek Hill gets open, and look at the safety coming in so quickly. Uh, that was just a safety deep, but when you're a safety deep, a single safety deep, you're covering Tyreek Hill. Everyone else gets their one-on-one -on -one matchups. You're not leaving Hill one-on-one, -on -one. but just funny. In a typical scenario, there'd be a ton of room to move, but in this scenario, uh, because it's Hill, there's that much attention on him. That's how you're able to hold Tyreek Hill to just 99 yards in a game, right? That's how you can do it. And also, this play was just crucial as well, where it's going to be a third down and three situation. It's, you know, the point of this play is to flip the ball to Tyreek Hill. Uh, that's what they're doing. And again, the situation itself is huge. Not just third down and three, but two minutes left. Dallas has all their timeouts left. Miami's up a point. I'm like, listen, Jason Sanders, you know, great kicker. Listen, on fire, all that stuff. You don't want to make him have to kick a 50-yard game winner. If you can make it easier on him, you should. Uh, make his job a little bit easier for once in this game would be nice. But also, again, going up two points here with two minutes left, that feels like way too much time for the Cowboys. You just you need to straight up another stop there. There's you know, The time almost isn't a factor on that next drive. So, uh, you know, really important play trying to see if you can run out the clock here. Uh, you're going to just flip the ball to Tyreek Hill. That defender for Dallas, that is the player who could be coming in and trying to make a play. He is the guy who is covering Tyreek Hill one-on-one -on -one in this situation. So, okay, he's someone that you're going to have to block in this scenario. So the guard for Miami is going to block him. That's the way this whole play is designed to work. So Tua takes a snap. He quickly flips the ball to Tyree Kill, and you see how well executed this is. They're able to get a little bit of separation, and if you get a little bit of a window for Hill, you know he's not going to miss it. Watch Tyree Kill. He you know gets a big space, kind of goes down, you know, take, takes a big hit, but is able to pick up the first down. They were able to run out the clock, kick the field goal as time expired, and win the game. So really good stuff there by Miami to be able to, again, beat a really good football team and they have they still have their shot at the one seed it's probably going to come down to can they beat the Ravens although they play the Ravens and the Bills so still a tough end to the season but they're showing that they can hang with anybody beating one of the best teams in the NFC that's what I think what do you think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from y'all and of course as always thanks for watching